Rahman Rahim. Now we will start chapter number 8, decimals, page 165. We are following new syllabus, primary mathematics, Oxford, second edition. In this chapter, we will study multiplication of a number. of a number with 10, 100 and 1000. Number mean? Number having decimal. Then we will study dividing a number, number mean deci number having decimal by 10, 100, thousands. Then we have converting the things like converting length from meters to kilometer, converting mass from kilogram to gram uh, and also we have some uh, word problems. Okay. These are the topics which we will be covering in chapter number 8. For first two topics, you need to understand one thing. When we multiply, what happens? And when we divide, what happens? See, if we multiply 10 by 2, it becomes 20. If we divide 10 by 2, it becomes 5. Here, the number is bigger, the result is, the answer is bigger, big. Here it is small. It was originally 10. When we divided it by 2, it became 5. So, this number became smaller. The answer, result is small. It was originally like this. When we multiplied by, with the 2, we got 20. So, now it has become a bigger number. Okay. So, always remember when we multiply, our answer will be big. And when we divide, our answer is small. This is the basic thing. Okay. So, here we will now learn first multiplying by tens. If there is one number 0 0.01, if you want to multiply it with 10, okay. So remember when you multiply with 10, so 10 has 1 0, okay. So we need to shift, we need to shift the position of decimal to right side. Here we can see the decimal, this is the position. When we multiply with 10, we need to move this decimal to right side by one position. 1 0 mean 1 movement we have to give it a movement, it will be moved from here, it will jump, it will jump, it will escape this 0, it will make a jump and it will come here. So, it becomes 0, 0 0.1, from here it came to here. So, 0, 0 0.1 means it is equal to 0.1, okay. There is no value of zeros on the left side of the decimal. Okay. So, this is how the multiplication works. If we do the similar question and we need to multiply it with 100, so two zeros means that it has, we need to give two movements to zero, uh, to the decimal. The decimal will be moved twice on the right side like this. From here it will jump to this place. This is one movement. 
from here it will go to this side becomes two movements so point will be shifted to this after one so 1.0 or it is one the answer is one when you multiply 0 0.01 with the 100 so answer is one okay similarly if we have the same point 0 0.01 and if we need to multiply it by 1000 we have three zeros three zeros means we need to give three movements or three jumps to the decimal on the right side when we multiply 0 0.01 with 1000 we need to shift this or move this decimal on the right side three times from here one time okay from here two times then again we need to go to third place but we don't have anything so we will put zero here so it will be going to this side it becomes 10 okay i'll explain you again that how to multiply with thousand see this is point zero 0.01 if you multiply it with thousand you need to give three jumps on the right side to the point this is one jump this is second jump it comes after one then we need to give third jump so we will put zero here and it comes here this is the third jump so the answer is 10 okay the rest we will do in the next video